Hi there, Stampers. This is Sarah Neighbor with Sarah Loves to Stamp. And today, um, my video is going to be really, really short for Quick Tip Tuesday. It's just on a way to keep track of your stamps. Um, there were a couple of changes that you may have noticed if, you're, if you've been stamping with Stampin' Up! for a while um, in the new catalogs. Um, the, it started with our 2012-2013 idea book and um, has continued on to the holiday mini. And they're not that big deal, you know, that, that huge of a change. But um, I'm just going to tell you, you know, things that I'm doing about it or I'll just mention some things. But first of all, you'll notice, and I don't know if you can see this at all on the camera, but our stickers now for each of our stamps are die cut. Um, and it's, I think the process, I believe, is just because they made it more similar between the clear mount stamps and the wood mount. So since they have to, um, since they have to, oh, and I didn't even, this one's not the same, but um, my stickers, the stickers for the clear mounts obviously have to be cut around it so you can attach them to the back of the stamps. I am not doing that, um, just because they stick better without, but... Just a personal preference, but anyway, um, so that one's not that big of a deal, but I think they're doing it just to kind of simplify the process there, but one big difference for me, and I know you might think this is silly, but on the end here, like, this is an older one, this is Friendly Phrases, and it tells you there's six in the set. Now, you'll notice with your new ones, it doesn't tell you. See, there's nothing at the end here. So, here's how I'm combating that, and if you do the clear mount stamps, you don't have to worry about it. It says it right there on the front, um, but before I put away my stamps, every time I put them away in my, um, in my... Uh, alphabetized order that I have in my cases over there and um, I may be able to show you that just hang on a moment um, anyway this is the holiday mini catalog and so or, I'm sorry it's not a mini I keep calling it a mini habit anyway so you can look up your stamp set and make sure and you can do this right away so you don't have to worry about it I mean you can count them then but this one's supposed to have eight stamps and so I'm gonna go ahead on the bottom here or on the side and I'm just going to go ahead and jot an 8 on there with a Sharpie marker. And it's not fancy or anything, but now when I go to put it away, like I was just going to put this one away and I thought, oh, I can film this in my video. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they're all there. So I know they're there before I put them in my shelf so that I don't end up having fewer, um, fewer stamp sets than, or fewer stamps in my stamp sets than I should. So that's my quick tip today, just a way to keep yourself, keep your stamps organized, keep your, you know, and make sure you have all of them. It's just that way. And I do the same thing when I put my clear mounts away. I always will count and make sure that there are six, and there should be six, um, before I put them away. So that's just my tip for you today, and um, I hope that helps you um, keep track of your stamps. And, um, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you on Thursday for a Tool Time Thursday. And um, if you need any other info or have any questions, my blog, as always, is www.sarahlovestostamp.com, and I hope you'll head on over there. Um, I apologize for all the noise in my back in the background. My little schnauzer dog must be, I don't know, being silly tonight. So have a great day, and thank you so much. Okay, so just real quick, I was talking about my stamps and how I store them, so I wanted to show you this. Um, on the bottom there, I know this is a little jiggly because my tripod's not tall enough. On the bottom there is my ribbon, and my husband made that little trough for me, and then that divider, I don't know if you can see it over there, but that divider moves. Um, my husband pretty much rocks. He made my cabinets and um, my punch racks that you see there as well. And then I have my punch racks, they're just attached to my cabinets. And then my stamp cabinets are up above. Um, I do have another one on the other side, but it's all retired stamps. These are all my current stamps. Um, and I have, like, my sponges are there and extra stamp of mist. Um, so anyway, that I just wanted to show you that. I'll kind of come in here. This is my version of zooming today. So um, hopefully you can see. You know, that's pretty blurry. Let's see if I can... Nope, it won't refocus while I'm taping. But anyway, I have them in alphabetical order, so they're really easy for me to find. So anyway, that's... All I wanted to show you, um, I just wanted to show you that really quick since I was talking about how I organize and store my stamps. Uh, and off the, little, the far left there, I don't know if you can see, but those are my, um, those are my embossing powders that I put in the Tupperwares. I know I've shown you that in the previous video, so I'll link to that video. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed kind of getting to see a little bit of my room. I'll try and clean my room and show you all of it sometime. Um, it's not fancy. I know some people have really fancy rooms, but it's not, but... I hope you enjoyed this little peek into my world, and um, I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.